hey guys it's nikki welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be talking about makeup products we are bringing in to 2024 or makeup products i am bringing with me into 2024 because they were just that good i spend my free time trying makeup and I spend all my money on it so I've tried quite a bit and we're just gonna get right into it I've got quite a few makeup products that I'm gonna be talking about but let's just get started this is the elf glow reviver lip oil um, I have them in every shade I love them all but this is such a great product it is such a luxurious formula um, for like six or seven dollars so this is really good fits right into your purse and it is my favorite lip oil, better than the high-end ones that I've tried. Um, this is really, really stunning. So definitely stay with me. This Morphe Brow Definer Pencil. So this is the one that has the curved edge. Um, I love this. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil right now. I love the spoolie on the opposite end. This is like six bucks. Amazing. Um, very inexpensive product and it works so well. I have it on my brows today so easy to work with love it this year i tried the bobby brown this is their vitamin enriched eye base i really wanted to try this because i wanted to decrease um creasing under my eyes as much as i could and this really helps smooth out the under eyes before you apply your concealer or it's even a great just everyday eye cream um so i really do enjoy this and i literally just take the back of my nail and take a little bit out and that's all you need this can literally last you a really long time I have fallen in love with the Natasha Denona concealers. I believe these launched this year. Absolutely stunning. I got two shades. I got a highlight shade and a um, skin tone shade. And I literally use these when I go to work. I use these every single day. I can use it as foundation or spot concealer or for under the eye for brightening. These are amazing. They worked great with my everyday products that I've used previously. And... I cannot say enough good things about this product. You just need to try it and see for yourself. Elf Halo Glow, I feel like is a must in everybody's routine. Um, everybody loves the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and this is supposedly a dupe for it. I've never tried that one, but I love this formula. They have a decent shade range. Um, this is the shade medium tan. So at first I was using this all over and I was like, this is way too deep. So I'll use this as like a little contour bronzer. And then I use the shade medium all over. So pretty, gives the skin such a pretty glow. And it's a really great base for makeup as well if you want to put foundation or concealer on top. So this is great. Lancome Mascara Primer. Absolutely stunning and absolute need. I got the mini version just to try out. I'm obsessed. This product also lasts so long. I've had this for a bit now and I use it every single day. This makes such a big difference. I've tried other mascara primers that just don't work. I will not ever do my mascara without this product. Like this, this is insane. I bought two full sizes when they were on sale at Ulta. I'm not playing with this product. This is so good. Rare Beauty Blush. Everybody knows the hype behind this. So pigmented, so beautiful, and they last a while because all you need is one dot. I actually have it on my skin today. Um, all you need is one dot and that's your whole cheek. Like, this is such an insane product and the thought she puts behind her products at Rare Beauty, I can really appreciate as a consumer. Um, and the formulation is just amazing and their price point is well managed. Like, Rare Beauty is a good brand in general, but this product right here, the best. REM Beauty, these are their sweetener foundations. So these came out in 2023. Um, I am more of a skin tint girl now, which is crazy. And I bought these because I love Ariana, but these are, this is a really good foundation. Um, it'll give you like medium to full coverage. You can build it and then you can also sheer it out if you want. Um, I bought two shades. They do have a great shade range, but I bought two shades because Sometimes I'm pale, sometimes I'm tan, or sometimes I like to mix them. But these are really great for everyday use too. You really don't need that much. They give you the perfect amount of coverage. It's almost like, to me, it's almost like a full coverage kind of skin tint for me because it's not too matte, it's not too dewy, it's the perfect in between. Um, and this just sits well on the skin. I've tried it with all my products that I've used beforehand or that I use every day. And this just really like hit all the marks for me. So I love 
this foundation. And the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, when I used to work at Ulta, I fell in love with this and I used to wear it all the time and I got so many compliments on my complexion. Um, and I kind of forgot about it, but then I came back to it and I just love it. Um, such a great formula and such convenient packaging because of the doe foot applicator. I think it's really easy to control the amount of product that you use with it. Just such a great formula. It's technically a two-in-one foundation and concealer and this will give you such great coverage with a beautiful finish and your skin will not look cakey. It won't feel cakey. Um, and this works well with so many other products as well. What I really like too about Clinique is that they are hypoallergenic. So a lot of the times if I had a guest that would kind of talk to me about like they really break out from products, like I always steer them in the direction of either like Clinique or Pacifica because I think Pacifica is kind of hypoallergenic i think i don't know but i know clinique is and um so this doesn't irritate my skin because i do have acne and this does not make it worse so this is like all time like og classic such a great product next we have the fenty beauty this is the stick skin tint now i do prefer the liquid version of this if you want more of like a sheer finish this one i feel like you feel it a little bit more on the skin because it's a creamier consistency, but I do like it. I like both formulas, but I threw, I ran out of my other one, so I'm using this one, but I really like this formula. It's so convenient. It's easy to travel with, and it's just such a pretty formula. I am I was happy that she came out with another form of their skin tint, so this is really good. So this year, I feel like I barely touched any of my colorful eyeshadow palettes, and if I ever used eyeshadow this year, it was one of these two products. So the first one is the Rem Beauty. This is their eyeshadow palette in Baby Doll. So this one has your perfect everyday shades. It has like two shimmers, which I don't really care for, honestly, but their matte tones are gorgeous. You can make any type of eye look with this if you wanted like a smoky or if you just want to add some like warmth into the crease, you could totally do that. I recommend wetting your brush before going into these um, shimmers because they're honestly not the best, but this eyeshadow palette I think is really good they do go on sale quite often too so you can get this for $12 so easy to travel with as well it could just fit right into your bag and you know you have the shades that you need and then if you want to spice it up you have the shades that you need and very similarly I feel the same way about this Milani um this is their ungilded most loved mattes what I love about this is an all matte palette yes I was so happy when I figured like when I found this palette every single tone that you need your warm tones you have even like your warmer oranges and pinks you can do anything with this palette i had to buy a new one because my other one was all jacked up but these are the two that i am going to always use and i will always have a backup of because they're so good for everyday use and just such great pigmentation i mean this palette can last me like the whole year all right, this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. I use the shade 40 Tan. Um, this is a very loved product that I have like three backups of. I hit pan. I love using this to set my um, cream products. Such a great formula and it makes the skin look really airbrushed too. I really love this. If you try anything from Kylie Cosmetics, let it be the bronzer. Look at this. Tawny Mommy is just my perfect shade. I I can't deny it. I mean, this is just all jacked up. Like, I have to get a new one. I actually have a, um, I have one that's unopened, but I don't want to open it yet because, like, I just don't want to run out. But it's just so good. Like, the tone of this is perfect. Um, the formulation of this is perfect. It's not patchy at all. It blends in so beautifully. I just, like... This is like my favorite high-end bronzer. I I mean, I'm going to try some. I bought some, so I'll try some more this year. But this right here, I don't know what she did with it. But girl, you did that. This is the Revolution Sport Fix. I do like this setting spray a lot. I feel like I use so much setting spray. So like, I feel like I have to constantly buy them. But what's good about this is that this kind of goes on sale a lot. Makeup Revolution does a lot um, go on sale a lot at Ulta. So I like this. Um, this is going to help keep your makeup on. I do love the mist of it too. It doesn't leave any like white splotches or anything on my skin, which I've had happen and I hate it. So I love this product. The girlies on TikTok put me on and 
I love it. Rare Beauty was just killing it this year. This is the Under Eye Brightener. I love this. It has a metal applicator. It is so good for those no makeup days or sometimes I even like to use it before I put on any makeup. I'll just put this underneath like my concealer and everything just looks 10 times better. It really does brighten the under eye. I feel like it helps with like correcting because it's kind of like that lighter coverage underneath. Um, I do like to use this on my no makeup days. If I'm going to work, I'll just put a little bit on, put a little bit of powder and I feel refreshed and I feel like I don't look tired. So this is a really great product that's also gonna last you a really, really long time, I noticed. So love this. I've fallen back in love with cream eyeliners, um, cream colored eyeliners. This is the Ulta Beauty Gal eyeliner um, in the shade Buff Babe, but there's one from Essence that's like a couple bucks that's really good, but I love this. I actually have it on my on my waterline today. Such a good formula. Um, the pencil lasts a while, and I know that these are actually a pretty popular product from the Ulta Beauty collection, so I really like it. This year, I fell in love with MAC lip liners. Like, I never wanted to buy them. This is the shade Chestnut. Absolutely stunning, I have it on today. But the shade Cork, when I heard Miss Hallie Bailey was using that on the Little Mermaid set, I bought it, so did everybody else. So good, and you get so much product in these. Like, this has lasted me a really long time, and I, this still is gonna last me a really long time. Sometimes you buy pencils and like they start out this size. Like, no, MAC lip liners, I'm sorry, like they're worth the however, what, 20 bucks, $21, I'll buy it every time. Stunning, amazing, gorgeous, love it. But if you don't wanna spend $20 on one, you can get the um, e.l.f. lip liners that just came out. These are the Cream Glide Lip Liner, which I like as well. Um, I feel like the e.l.f. one is a bit more of a creamier formula, which is called Cream glide on whereas the mac one has a little bit more of a tug but i like that because i feel like they last longer when they have a bit of a tug whereas cream ones will kind of go away when like you're drinking talking eating you know as but the mac one she's lasted me i had lunch okay and i did not put any more lip liner on she's still there so but these two are great formulas as well elf lip oil i will never buy another lip oil that's over seven dollars why would i do that when you have these this is one of my favorite shades this is red delicious stunning stunning formula it is such a luxe um component too in my opinion i don't know what it is about it i just i love it the black it's just it's so cute throw it in my bag i take it out i'm like ooh, so cute these little puffs this is used she's gonna be thrown away soon these little puffs from amazon don't buy one for like four dollars you need to get like 20 of these for four dollars or five dollars from amazon these are amazing these will make your under eye look so smooth and flawless like i never knew i needed a powder puff until this year and thank you tiktok for introducing me because my favorite step of my routine is grabbing this and doing my under eye powder we're down to the last two products so this is the juvia's place this is the blush duo this is volume four these blush duos are amazing they're gonna last you forever and they have the best pigmentation like what is it 16 bucks for two that's gonna last you like the whole year like duh this is so good and last but not least i was never gonna buy this product because i was like why is everybody hyping up a freaking 20 dollars lip balm however much it is, $24 lip balm. This Summer Friday's lip balm, I don't know what they put in this. So good. Definitely would recommend buying it like during the Sephora sale or when you have points, like, you know, be smart about it. But this stuff right here, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. Putting it on, I just feel like that girl. When I have it on, I feel like that girl. And when I have it in my bag and I take it out, I feel like that girl. Like. It's just a necessity at this point. Like, it's just a necessity. It lives in my bag. Literally, one of my good friends got me vanilla for Christmas. And I was like, girl, you just know me. Like, I, this is just, this is just that girl. Like, this is something that you just need to try. And it's just such a good formula. It smells good. It has like a kind of a vanilla-y, like, cupcakey scent and um it just goes on so well i have literally had patients who i have seen i'm doing 
an ultrasound on them and they have this in their hand, in their bag. And I'm like, girl, don't worry, me too, it's in my pocket. Like, everybody just knows how good this is. Like, you need to have it on you at all times. Like, this is just that girl. And you'll know once you try it. That's all I'm gonna say. Just go and get you one and then you come back in the comments and let me know. Those are my makeup products, my favorite makeup products from 2023 that I'm gonna be bringing with me in 2024 because they are a necessity, okay? Comment down below if you've tried any of these products, okay? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Why or why not? Go and get you some of these, okay? Treat yourself. New year, you made it, you know? New blessings. Get yourself some makeup, okay? Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll be uploading weekly this year. Really gonna try my best to get back on my YouTube grind. And yeah, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Shouldn't be no harder, harder If I lost emotions, show up If you're down to roll up Leave me on the west side for me